two new power toys, Text Extractor and Screen Ruler. I'm Huey Poplock. Two new additions to power toys are Screen Ruler, which is a quick and easy way to measure pixels on your screen, and Text Extractor, which is a convenient way to copy text from anywhere on the screen. Microsoft Power Tools is a set of utilities for power users to tune and streamline their Windows experience for greater productivity. Made by Microsoft and the Power Toys community. The Microsoft Power Toys were originally developed by Microsoft Research and released in 1998 as a way to demonstrate the power of Windows. Here is a list of the Power Toys. Some examples of these tools are Color Picker, which is a system-wide color selection tool for Windows that enables you to pick colors from any currently running application and automatically copies it in a configurable format to your clipboard, and Image Resizer, which is a Windows shell extension for simple bulk image resizing. Here are the two new additions to Power Toys, Screen Ruler, and Text Extractor. Let's do the demo. Let's take a look at Screen Ruler. Now, you might ask, why do you need a Screen Ruler? One is, you might want to know what size a certain picture is, a space on a, on a document. Uh, there are a number of reasons you might want to know what, how many pixels up and down or how long something is, how much space is between uh, one line and another. Uh, so there's a lot of reasons you might want to have a ruler. And let's take a look at a, at a couple uses of the ruler. You'll see at the top, I've already clicked on the Windows Shift M keys combination. And that combination opens up the menu for your screen ruler. This is the menu up here at the top. Now I had a little bit of a problem uh, when I was going to make this video that sometimes it came up and sometimes it didn't. I had to reboot a few times. I don't know whether it's a bug in the program or if I have some kind of a conflict. Either way, I've got it working. We'll take a look at it. So we have a picture here. We can do several things with this ruler. We can just check on the bounds of something, the spacing, horizontal spacing, vertical spacing, and the X shuts it off. Let's take a look. Let's do the boundaries first. This is an on-off switch, so once you turn it on, it stays on until you click it again. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to the corner of this picture on this website, and I'm going to click and drag it down to the bottom part. It tells me it's 715 by 400. When I let go of it, that goes away, but I don't know if you heard the pop or not. That's a signal on my system that uh, I copied something. So it puts it in the clipboard. So if I come over here, I've got Notepad open so we can look to see what I capture. So turn that off and then come over here and we're going to paste, and it's saying it's 715 by 400. So it measured that, and then saved the measurement in the clipboard. You can measure anything you want. Uh, if you're doing the border, you could say, oh, I wonder how big this little box is. And let's see. And we've got to shut that off. Then we come down here, let's go to the next line, and do a paste and it's 291 by 125. So you can measure the size of something. All right, let's take a look at a Word document. When recording this, I noticed that when I go to the other spacing, horizontal spacing, and vertical spacing, I see a red line when I do that. So let's just look here. And I've got a, I see a red line on here, but I think when I click that, you will not see that. And so I am going to skip this area, but you see what those three things will do. 
Now, what else could you do? Well, let's say you want to put a picture in your Word document and you want to have it on the side of, let's say, uh, these three paragraphs. So you could say, okay, let's uh, do the spacing here. And let's say we want it from here and we want the picture to be about that much wide for the er, next to those three paragraphs. We let go of it. Then we can look over here. We've got to shut that off. Come down here. And so we're going to look to put a picture in that is going to be 331 by 235. So it's somewhere around 330 across and 235 across. Uh, above we want to keep it in the right proportion so it depends on what our picture is but we know that we want to keep it about 235 uh, up and down and then if it's a little bit more than 333 it'll just bring it over to the side of the page so you can use this to measure anything you want and that's how to measure things on your screen for whatever reason you want to have them measured you can. Now, another another thing you might want to do is measure a particular window. If you're doing screen captures and you're going to leave it and come back, you want to know how big that window is. You might want to uh, get the measurements of that window, and then you'll have the same size window when you start up the next time to continue the screen captures that you were doing for that particular presentation that you were going to be doing. Of the two new power toys. The one I'm excited about is Text Extractor. And it's one you'll probably find more, much more uses than uh, the other. So let's take a look at a Facebook page. And sometimes you go to a Facebook page and you see a, it's a picture of something that's got words on it. In order to bring up the Text Extractor, you do a Windows Shift and T for text. It grays the screen and then you outline what you want the text to show. You heard the pop. That means it went into the clipboard. I come over here and I'm just going to paste. And now I have that text as text that I can do anything I want. I can edit it, make a paragraph out of it, whatever I want to do with it. So there's lots of uses for this. Let's look at another use. All of your files that are in a particular folder. If I do the Windows Shift T for text again, and I want to grab just the file names of what's there. Now I come over here. Let's clear this. And I'm going to now right mouse click and paste. And there are all of the file names listed there that are editable. I can move them around. I can put them in something, alphabetize them, whatever I want to do, which I think is, is, is a really good use of it. Another might be, let's take one of these articles that's here and uh, uh, let's take this as a JPEG. And here's an article that was from an old newspaper. It's not real clear because it's, it's a, it was taken from uh, an old newspaper from uh, many years ago, but let's go ahead. Windows Shift T, it grays it out. We're going to say, okay, we want to grab all of this information right here. We come over to our notepad. It could be Word or whatever you want to, whatever program you want to put it in. And then you just tell it, paste it. And there's that whole article. And it does a pretty good job of turning it into text. You might have to go back in and edit a few things, but for the most part, it does capture it, considering that's not a really good thing to copy. Uh, that same article was a PDF, so let's close that and open up a PDF of the same article, and you can see it here. And so now when we do the Windows key Shift and T, it grays it down a little bit, and we're going to take this information and grab it and then close this, come over here, erase everything that's on there, just and then we'll paste again. And again, it's the same article and it uh, 
I actually did a better job from the PDF than it did from the JPEG, but it does either. So you can see, you can uh, grab anything that's on the page and make text out of it. Something else I noticed that I could do is, let's say you want a list of all of your icons that are on your desktop. Again, Windows key, Shift, and T. And remember that T is for text. It's an easy way to learn, remember it. So let's, uh, let's just grab these. I heard the pop. That means it went into my clipboard. I'm going to delete this. And now I'm going to do a right mouse click and paste. And there are all of the items that are on the screen. And so I then have a list of all of the icons that I have on my desktop. So that's text extractor. Microsoft Power Toys, text extractor and screen ruler. I'm Huey Poplock.